Hi everybody, it's Anthony Morrison and welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Blog. Listen, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, if you look around, you'll see I'm in the same shirt that I was last week and that's because I'm having to actually film this blog uh, before Thanksgiving because I'm going to be traveling and I want to make sure that I don't miss any of the weekly blogs. So I went ahead and filmed two for you. You're getting this one this week after Thanksgiving. Now, what I want to talk about this week, and I think it's real important, is what prevents you from having success? You know, a lot of people ask me, well, why am I going through the motion, but I'm not having the same success that, you know, maybe that other people are having? And I think it's a lot like a pitcher in baseball, right? So I used to play baseball. If you've read my book, you know, I, I used to pitch in high school. And, and one of the things that I've always found so fascinating is that a pitcher in baseball can, can literally be a, an all-star pitcher this year, right? And then next year, everything changes. They all of a sudden, they're horrible. They, they don't make the all-star team. They have horrible ERAs up here, home runs all the time. And if you look at them, you're thinking, what's wrong with this person, right? Like, how, how did they go from the top to the bottom so fast? So what do you do? You get with your pitching coach, right? And what does your pitching coach do? He analyzes things that you would never analyze or that the pitcher would never analyze. So the pitcher goes through the motions of throwing the ball and the pitching coach breaks it down to itty bitty little steps and finds one little flaw, one little thing in that whole motion that changed from one year to the next. They correct that one little thing and all of a sudden the pitcher is extremely successful. Now there are case after case after case after case of that in Major League Baseball. So what I challenge you to do is if you're not having the success that you want, let's determine what is your little flaw. Number one, is it knowledge? Okay, so in other words, are you not learning enough? If that's the case, then let me know because whatever you need to learn, I'm willing to sit here and bang out training videos, training manuals, whatever I gotta do to help you learn. If you're lacking knowledge because you haven't read my book yet, right? You bought the book, but it's just sitting on the, on the shelf, you need to read the book. I was actually walking uh, to, out of Best Buy just a couple of days ago uh, here at home and somebody approached me and said, you know, I bought your book. I've never opened the box. It's still sitting on the shelf. Uh, can you help me with something? And I, and I, I said to him, uh, you know, read the book. See, the book is full of knowledge because I know that's what you need to be successful. So make sure that you actually read the book to acquire the knowledge. Number two, do you lack maybe desire? I mean, do you have the desire to be successful? If you're finding that you're having a hard time, you know, just mentally staying focused, well, if you need me to help you with desire, all you got to do is tune in every week to this weekly blog because I'm going to motivate you and inspire you to desire more success from yourself, right? So, I mean, are you lacking the knowledge? Are you lacking the desire? What about maybe the, just the dedication, right? I mean, are you lacking the ability to dedicate the time that you need to this program? If you are, then let's make some changes right here for next year, right? Let's you know, just outline some time that you can spend and dedicate to doing what I teach. Because I'll tell you this much right now. Success comes from knowledge. That's for sure. But implementing the, t the knowledge, right, to have the success, well, that comes from dedication. And both of these are required through desire. Now maybe it's desire for a better lifestyle, desire to pay your bills, desire to just be successful at something, desire to get out of the job that you're already in. You, if you have desire, then you will go and acquire the knowledge, you will dedicate the time, and then ultimately you create the success, right? You probably can't read that as it goes up the thing. But you create success from these components. So let's analyze what's preventing you from your success Break it down into small steps, just like a pitching coach would a pitcher. Find what component you're missing. Let's correct it, and let's create the success that you want, desire, and need for 2011. So I hope this lesson has really helped you analyze yourself so that you can create more success in your future. If you haven't joined our newsletter, please join it now. I send out information like this, training videos like this, that are going to you know, just improve your quality of life because they're going to help you stay focused 
on what it is that you need to focus on to be successful. So join our newsletter. If you haven't joined our live community, please do so now. There's over 10,000 people there that are just waiting, willing to help each other, inspire each other, and help each other create success. So join the live community. Go ahead, join the newsletter right now. It's completely free. And then join me here next week for the Anthony Morrison Weekly Blog. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you here next week.